Hear me? Yes. Good? All right. Um, thank you all for coming to the 35th Annual Chesky Den Celebration in Hillsboro. I won't take up a lot of your time with, uh, with a speech from me, but uh, we appreciate your attendance and your support. Um, everybody, all the volunteers, all the Chesky Den members, members of the community, um, it takes a lot of people to pull this thing together, and we thank you all very, very much. Uh, with that, we'll turn it over to our mayor, Greg Farsky. Thanks, Hamper. And he's right, it takes a lot of volunteer work to keep this going every year. Um, you know, I, I don't know where to begin with it. Um, there's a lot of stuff that happens here today. As you know, the Boca Band's going to be indoors, up the street. There's also going to be music down here, so there's no excuse that you can't have fun today. If you can't dance, there's plenty of chairs. No big deal there. Keep yourself hydrated. A lot of refreshments, no matter where you look. And it's been 35 years of this. 35 years of Chesky Down already. That just happens to be the same age as Lee Harrison. <laughs> but everybody's welcome to have a great time today. Um, enjoy the food. Um, there's all types of food on each end of the block here. Don't hesitate to ask somebody if you're lost, if you're out of town. Um, everybody here is very helpful. And again, thanks for coming to Hillsboro. Thanks for supporting Chesky Den. Um, please buy a few things so we can keep the support for this event going. Thank you much. Right, and next up will be Lee Nerson, and he will tell us something educational. Thank you very much. First, I want to congratulate Hillsborough on celebrating the 35th year of their Chesky Den, and thank you for allowing me check for a day. And uh, I have a presentation here from uh, Senator Schilling and myself. It's a proclamation declaring uh, the 35th annual Chesky Den. Whereas Wisconsin has a rich, rich Czech cultural heritage and our Czech ancestors helped form our state, and whereas Hillsboro is considered the Czech capital of Wisconsin and Yuba has a rich Czech cultural heritage, and whereas in 1983 the first Chesky Den celebration was held to promote the Czech heritage, and whereas 217 marks the 35th anniversary of the Hillsboro Chesky Den celebration, and the community continues their annual tradition of great hospitality, including polka music, traditional Czech foods, foods such as roast pork, dumplings, sauerkraut, rulelicki, internet, uh, chuleki soup, kolaches, and mas kapolka mass, various contests, the wearing of authentic Czech costumes, and the creation of a special button. And whereas June 10, 2017 marks the 35th anniversary of the Chesky Den, now therefore, Representative Lee Nerson on behalf of the State of Wisconsin Assembly and Senator Jennifer Schilling on behalf of the Wisconsin State Senate hereby join together with the citizens of Hillsborough and Yuba to celebrate the 35th Chesky Den on June 10, 2017. Signed by myself and Senator Schilling. Thank you, Lee. Okay, now we will have our national anthems, sung by Rachel Smith. Okay, I'll do our national anthem first. You'll jo feel free to join in. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the
to join with me. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> and if anybody knows the words to the Czech national anthem, feel free to join in. Greg was gonna. <laughs>
35 years ago. I'm one of the original four that started. And I want you to know that what they, what Snapper is doing and, and these younger people are doing is just wonderful keeping this going. We need to keep Chesky Den going. Yay! I'm wearing a vest today that uh, I have a couple of vests actually. They're, they're one of them cost a hell of a lot more money than this one. But uh, this vest was made for me in 1984 by Evelyn Liska, who we just buried. She was 90 years old. On the back, you'll see it says Chesky Dan, not Chesky Den. That's because I got to be the leader of this outfit for quite a few years. I'm very, very happy to see that it's still going on 35 years later. I saw a button one time at an auction. This button right here, 1983 button, which was the first button. I watched this button sell for $50 at an auction. That tells me that there's some merit in what we're doing. Anyway, let's go back to the medallion hunt. So every year, actually 34 of the 35 years, I've written clues in the newspapers, and the clues aim you towards a spot to pick up the medallion, which has always been worth 100 bucks, except one year we had a benefactor give, uh, I believe it was 500 bucks, and I believe Doris Piha and her daughter-in-law uh, found it by mistake, actually. I don't think they really actually looked. They just found it by mistake. But this year, every year that I hide the medallion, every year I've got a reason behind my, I don't know, goofy skull. And Hillsborough Cement Products was going out of business, and they had this beautiful totem pole that stood in front of their building for years and years and years. Well, the story of that totem pole was that Ray Knorr, and by the way, if you want History 101, Quick Trip Today started as Kickapoo Oil many years ago, here in Hillsborough, by a man named Ray Knorr. And he wanted this totem pole to fend off the evil spirits, I guess, that are in Hillsboro. So that totem pole sat down there and I wanted to bring a claim to that totem pole. So the clues were, its purpose was defense, that's what a totem pole is, with sacred sway, they had their reason. Protecting the Kickapoo, and that was the Kickapoo Oil Company, each and every day. It was found by a gal named Jen Kropodlowski. She can't be here today. But I'll tell you, the enthusiasm that she had when I was on the phone with her when she found it that night is exactly why I hide the thing. And I'll keep hiding it as long as I'm erect. Last thing I wanted to mention to you is there's a song by the Zach Brown Band. 
It's called My Oh Man. And that song is why we're here today. My Oh Man has been gone since 02. But My Oh Man helped start this organization, was the Czech storyteller for this organization. Passed away in 02. And 15 years later, this is still going on. So thank you very much, folks. Enjoy the day. This year, Chesky Dad gave out two $500 scholarships to uh, graduates that had participated in Chesky Dad or had helped out in some way. Uh, our winners this year were uh, Kennedy Kersky and uh, Kelly Parrish. And they will get their money after completing one year of school. But um, we wanted to let you know that we had given scholarships. And I think, uh, OK, here comes Snapper. Maybe he has more to say. Okay, last uh, but certainly not least, to close out the opening ceremonies for the 35th annual Chesky Dent, uh, Bernard Vodak is going to sing a couple songs for us. This is at the Okay, and that concludes the opening ceremonies. Go have fun. <laughs>